doing a job for somebody and uh, I got a bit fed up and I wanted to do something different and uh, I do like YouTube I like going on YouTube and I like sharing my ideas and what I found and I think it's important for people to find out and uh, what I found is that people that use a lot of inks pay a lot of money for them and um, I, I do I do a lot of printing, um, lots of printing, and I, I I've been a bit disappointed with the amount of money that you pay. And I've got a HP uh, printer. Um, I suppose they're all standard. It's a bubble jet. I'm talking about bubble jets. And um, you normally get a cartridge when you, when you get your inks. You get your car you, you get a cartridge like this. And uh, I haven't got one wrapped up at the moment. Uh, this is what this this is how they come from HP when they they're properly wrapped. Um, yeah, they come from HP like this when they're properly wrapped, and uh, they're made from in you know, all over the place. And this, this one's made in uh, Malaya, and it's it, this is the black cartridge, and uh, they usually come with a little clip on them, which everybody knows about. I'm not going to go expand on that too much but these little clips are quite important there's one little clip and it covers the base of it covers the thing up this one I've got the, still got the sticky on and the HP thing on but this one's been filled I don't know how many times and I keep it as a standby and the secondary one is, is the colour and it's got the same sort of leg on it and um, the only difference between the two is that this has got one filler which when you pull the, the thing off, if you feel around with a pin, usually it's at the top here. But you can feel around with a pin or, or, or something that's not something that's not too uh, thingy. I, I use one of these or I've got a little thing here of pin. You can use anything I use, I use anything I've got to hand. And you, 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 you can feel around until you get you find the hole and then you, you push it in, like so, and you, you make a little hole. And that's in the black one. There's only one hole in the black one that you're interested in, usually at the top. But it's not necessarily, depends what print, which printer you've got. And the other one, the colour one, normally has got three, depending on the type of cartridge. I haven't used these modern cartridges as the long ones or anything, the block cartridge. But if they're a bubble jet, I presume that they're the same, except they're a different shape, that's all. And some of these cartridges hold different, different amounts of ink. So... I, I won't bubble on a bit yet, but this this one I found that there's three holes in it, so you dig around till you find the holes. You can use something blunt that's pointy but blunt to find where the hole is, and then you can make the, the hole finally with your thing. You, you just want to make the three holes for the colour and one for the black, and that's it. And um, if you don't know which ones to put the colour in, all you've got to do is put your pin in. This one might be a bit dry. Use a bit of toilet tissue, that's all. And uh, put your pin in the first hole, like so, and then wipe it on your rag. And that one you can just see it's yellow, just. These these are pretty pretty dry. Now. I haven't been I haven't been using these at all. And the second one at the top. I'll try that one. You can see that that one's red. Wipe it off. Make sure there's no colour on it at all. You don't want to mix it up with the next one. Then put it into the last one. Well, you know what colour the last one is. I'm just going to show you it. That's going to be blue. And it is blue. It's very faint at the moment, but it is blue. You'll be able to notice it. So the colours are yellow, red, and blue and that won't change once you found out that it's yellow red and blue it won't change so just make a little thing in your book or a piece of paper yellow red and blue and then what you do is I've got a series of uh, colours here I, I buy my colours in bulk the, these are um, 
I think that's about a quarter of a litre this one, is it? Yeah, 125 millilitres yet. And uh, that's 500 millilitres. That's half a litre. So I buy it in half a litre bottles and quarter litre quarter litres. And what I do, I usually fill up the colours. I've got the I haven't got any with me now, but the colours are the same size. And I think these are about I think this cost me about £19 for that. And you can see how many times it's going to fill up one of these. It, I mean, <laughs> hundreds of times. So you can see you're, you're saving. It's the saving you're trying to do. But I, that's what I'm trying to get at. And I put them in these little bottles for ease of use. So as you can reach your... You buy these little injectors off the net. And I don't, these are 5ml these are ones, I think. I'm not quite sure. And uh, they are marked off originally. These are pretty bad now. I, I, it rubs off. You're only supposed to use them once. But there's a division at the bottom. And what I usually find is that if I put in... Uh, I'll, put, I'll put a bit of colour in for you. With this one. If you're going to fill up a coloured one... You just put it in the bottle. And then that's about the amount you need there. I don't know. I don't know how much that is actually. I, I couldn't tell you. But there'll, there'll be a few air bubbles in the things. Don't try and get rid of them or anything. Don't be too. Thing you're not bothered. All you want to do is fill that thing up to make the colours work. And it's important not to spoil it. And the thing you should never do is let the ink colour run out. You shouldn't let it run out if you can help it. You can get it started again, but it's a little bit more awkward. And I usually have three of these, one for each colour, so I don't want to mess around. And you can wash these out. You put them in the sink, pull the syringe in and out a couple of times and wash them. They're quite thingy, because the ink is washable. And if you've got this arrangement that I've got in a little bag, in a little box, the, the things can't fall over. You don't mess with inks then, because I'm notorious, because I'm getting on a bit, and I find... A little bit of toilet, I've always got toilet tissue on hand and I've, I've always got my inks and I never take them out of here except to actually fill them up and even then you can fill them up inside there. And you'll see now that when I put this in here, like so, I give it a little press and I go nearly to the bottom, not quite, I go through, because inside there is a piece of sponge. So there's three little separate compartments in this, one in there for blue, uh, Sorry, that's yellow. Blues. This is in this one. <laughs> this is a it's a dead ink cartridge anyway. Luckily, um, yeah. The first one is yellow, so I'm going into the blue one. And what you do is push it in a little way like that, and then squeeze it. until it's all gone. If any comes out of the bottom, you've overfilled it. And if anything comes out of the top, you've overfilled it and you're in trouble. Because once you overfill it, they're a hard bugger to start up again. You might be lucky and it might start. But normally, this is why I tell you to only put that little amount in. The less you put in, the better. You can keep filling it up, but you can, once it's overfilled, there is a way of starting off, which I'll show you in a minute. But if you put that amount in, it's enough to get this cartridge going, just to keep the cartridge ticking over. If the cartridge dries up, um, or the cartridge runs out, not dries up, they don't normally dry up because it's a little sponge. It isn't an area inside there where the ink goes and it splashes around. It's a sponge. You're only filling up the sponge. And um, what, if you overfill it, it means that there's liquid in there, which there isn't normally. And when you buy these, they're only half full. If you strip one of these, break one of these open, the, half of it's white sponge and the other half is ink at the bottom filled with ink. So you can see that if you look carefully, I've stripped one of these and had a look inside it and when I, before I've cleaned it or oh, something's been wrong and I've opened it up, I open these up regular and you find that the top half of it is uh, a sponge and it's white. It's not even it's not even dirty. It's not even covered in ink. So when you fill them up, you really fill them up. You can fill them up with twice the amount that I've put in for each one of these individual ones. It's about 10 millilitres for each one. And uh, I usually put much less than that, and I I, I'm not quite sure how much that is, but it's it, it's about just less than half an inch up the tube, up the syringe when you're putting putting the stuff in for each one. So that's all you need. The less you put in, the better, because it will restart. And what I do, I have a system whereby I know when they're going to run out. You usually normally use less colour than you do black. 
Um, and I haven't seen these much more than about, ten, I think it's 10 millilitres or something like that. Yeah. I don't know what the divisions are on this, I'm not quite sure. I should have found out before I started. But these, these syringes are quite cheap, you can buy them. They're really, really cheap off the internet. And the, the ends are blunt. That one's got a thing in. They are marked when you get them. Yeah. So that's that's five millimeters milliliters, and that's ten milliliters. This is a fat one. So this one would be about about maybe one milliliter, one and a half milliliters. I'll say about one and a half milliliters then. And uh, so that's with a thin one. So if you get a fat one, you, they're, de they're marked in division. So you'll find out where to put them. You can mark them with a, a marking pen or whatever. But I would never go. If you're going to mark them, don't go much beyond, say, about there. And I've got a marker pen there, and you can see where I've marked it, which isn't all that much. But you can always refill them. You can't, if you overfill them, you're in trouble. Right, I'll just stop there for the minute, and I'll carry on in a minute. Okay, well, I've just washed this out in the sink, and... Uh, it, it, that's all there is to it. Make sure it's uh, thing. It doesn't affect uh, the inks or anything like that. So if there's a bit of water in. Get as much water off as you can. And uh, I usually give it a quick, a quick squeeze, just to get the excess of water out of it, and a quick shake. And then I put the, the cap on the end, and it's ready for the next, the next go. So that's all there is to it to cleaning them out. And I've used these, I don't know how many, hundreds of times, this particular one. And uh, you, you'll find that you'll use your graduations for a while, which, uh, and then after a while you won't need them, because you'll be so used to doing it. And um, so that's it. So that's the ink. You can buy the ink from several places. You can buy it in small amounts, large amounts. I usually buy it in half litres, 500 millilitres of blank. I, I buy it from selectorfont.co.uk. And I find they're, they're quite reasonable. And you can get the three colours, magenta, um, the blue and the yellow, and you get the black. And I buy 500 milliliters. It's expensive to start with, but if you're going to use an inkjet, inkjet printer, um, you don't have to buy any more ink ever, or a new cartridge. Sometimes a new cartridge, if, if, if it's, sometimes some of the cartridges aren't good. I buy a lot of... Um, um, what the con type cartridges? The, these ones here, the, none of these cartridges are, are the official ones from HP. They're what they call um, like a facsimile. They, uh, I forget the name of them now. But you can use them instead. Anyway, so you know how to fill up one of these. If you overfill it, if there's any ink comes out of the bottom, you can test for ink by here's your little piece of paper as well. You can test for ink on the bottom if you want, and you can see this one's a dry as a bone. But there are methods of getting that going, which I'm not going to go into now. I've left that one too long, in fact. And uh, I, let, I kept it just for this reason. And uh, the black ones... The black ones hold about 15 millilitres of ink. But uh, they're more forgiving than the other ones. So I usually put about... Uh, about 5 millilitres in, depending. A maximum one is about five, and the other ones are about ten. But I usually put about five in. Five's enough to do about seven signatures, and that's how I work it out on mine. You you'll have a different method of doing it on yours probably to find out how you how much ink you uh, you use. But uh, if I fill one of these up to, with five milliliters, with five, up to five on the injector when I find it, this one will go right up, right up to the back end here. I'll fill it up as far as I can. I'll pull it right in like that and fill it up. And then put the needle in and squeeze it, squeeze the fluid in very gently, and then rest halfway and then squeeze the rest in. And if it starts bubbling out, stop immediately and then pull your injector the other way so you pull a little bit of ink out and try not to get any ink coming out the top and none out the bottom. You'll get to know how much to put in it after a while. You make a couple of mistakes to start with. And uh, 
you can put a bit of sticky tape on the top if you want to, but I tend not to. You don't, you don't need to. Not unless you're going to put it away for safekeeping or something like that. And uh, it'll run on and on and on, and, and then you just fill it up again. Um, sometimes I'm in the middle of printing and it runs out of ink and I, I just fill them up and then continue just running again. You don't even have to leave them overnight. As long as it doesn't run out. As long as it doesn't go faded and stop or whatever. The, the, the coloured inks are the worst ones to, to um, for filling up. Even I have a struggle with these, but as long as you don't let it run out and you put the minimum amount of ink in, which I've just shown you, um, you'll work every time. All you've got to do is to find out how to put which colour in which hole. You'll know that there's three holes. Sometimes you might have only have one cartridge where it's got one colour and you're lucky. Um, but it'll say how much ink there is in it, but put at least less than half of that in every time you fill it up and you'll have no problems with them just keep running and running and running just find out beforehand how much they use when you actually fill them up to your levels and if you do get into trouble this is the next thing I use this this is my little piece of card which I use you can see how much mess I make which is very little black on one side and colors on the other it's just to see if there's any leakage seepage and I, I'm getting so good at it now I get very very little seepage very little and what you get these you get these things here and what you can do is to drill a hole in the middle at the bottom right the way through because the actual cartridge sits on there you'll see that it's an oblong cartridge at the bottom where it actually calls it I'll just put this one's a bit better they're both the same but you can see there's a a little oblong strip there with the three colours in on that one and the one colour on the black obviously and when you make a hole in there that will join up all them that oblong when it's fitted on there and you'll see I've got one done here it's a bit bigger and it's a different type but it'll work on that one if you haven't got anything and the reason I'm showing this is a bit bigger cradle if you're lucky enough to get one of these you might even be able to buy I think you can still buy these you can buy them on the net and uh, what you get you get a wire with them and sometimes an injector uh, I, I made this myself it's just a, an ordinary um, syringe with the needle taken off and a little bit of a what um, plastic tubing which you get you can get it from the internet and what you do, you place this in the bo bottom like so, push it in through the hole that you've made, which is just the width of this. What I normally find is there's a thing that comes with, when you get a kit, you, sometimes you buy a kit for these, and there's a little screw on so you can screw in the top to put the inks on some of them. Well, I use that little thing. I, I don't know if I've got one here. I don't use it now because I, you can use, you can use a, a a, a compass needle or any like this you can use a needle like that to make the hole if you or you can make it with a hot heat that up and then put it in to make the hole if you want There's several ways of making a hole and then what you do is you put the ink cartridge on like so all right I've got it wrong again there she is. She's in now, you see. And that's flush with that rubber thing. It's to protect it. But if you pull down on that, you'd pull the ink through from the inside of there. So if there's any excess ink, you can pull it in there and then pull your tube out. It won't run on and on and on. And then just go and clean that. You might have to do it a couple of times and then to make it start working again. But that's if you overfill it. So if you overfill it, you need one of those. I hope that's... Uh, I haven't gone out of shot. I've probably gone out of shot on that. So that, it's as easy as that. And you can fill these things up as many times as you like. You can fill these up as many, these, these cartridges as many times as you like until they actually get so bad that they're, they're absolutely useless. And just remember to wash things out with um, warm water or water. And this is a menu, menu cartridge. And you can see that this, this has got a little a little thing on the bottom. I've sealed this one off so I can't actually show you. But this is a 300 series. And the other ones are uh, 
21 and 22 series and this is off a different printer but they're exactly the same and I use exactly the same ink so I'm not quite sure but I should imagine it'll work in all the other printers as well like if it uses the same inks it'll probably work they say use this ink for that and the other but I'm not quite sure but it'd probably work I'd take a chance on it anyway just for one cartridge you can always check it so that's it uh, I don't know if anybody's got any questions on that but it, it's so easy it's so easy this and uh, yeah, keep a little bit of little bit of tissue behind to, to dab your thing on to make make sure if it if it's coming out in three colours you're pretty you're pretty sure that it's gonna it's gonna run properly. And uh, it'll probably work on all, all the printers that are bubble jets actually. It's not just my printer, it'll probably work on all the printers. Anyway I'll stop there and hope this has been some use and I'm gonna look through it and see if I've missed anything or I've been untoward or I've been too complex or whatever. Anyway I'll stop. There.